This is a Minecraft AI that I coded over the past few months. Uh, what does it do? Well... Yeah, this bad boy is a fighting machine, just like my dream AI. But the difference here is that it tries its absolute best to never die if you get close to winning a fight. Killing it triggers a negative feedback loop that trains the neural network not to make the same mistakes again that led to a loss. Over time, the bot learns PvP and gets better and better until the possibility of it dying is practically zero. Uh, but by natural and realistic causes, of course. Uh, so, so don't go spam the comment section with, oh, what if you throw them into lava and go into Oh my god, out? the outrun is the You know what else is a Minecraft character that never dies? Technoblade! Yes, you read the title correctly. In order to really complement this parallel across the MCYT cinematic universe, uh, I added some extra spicy features to really personalize this bot. If you're wondering what I mean by that, uh, I, I can assure you that you have nothing to worry about. Uh, oh, and they also sometimes poop giant potatoes. Uh, that's besides the point. In this video, I will walk you through the evolution process and how each new generation was naturally selected from the previous using selective reinforcement learning and deep Q learning algorithms. Buckle up, because there's about to be a lot of math. Uh, I'm a certified idiot that knows how to copy code, so I can assure you that my explanations are top-notch. So, uh, yeah, welcome to the long-awaited Technoblade AI Part 2. Okay, so before we begin, if you want to try out my bot plugin that I've showcased and hyped up throughout all my recent uploads, I'm finally releasing it, so uh, there will be more information at the end of the video about how you can download it, so uh, stick around if that interests you. And for all of you nerds wondering, yes, I have the source code posted as well, so you get to make fun of my code and uh, see everything from how the velocities are calculated to how exactly you can give birth to new players. Uh, speaking of such, uh, many of you guys have wondered if each of these bots are individual Minecraft accounts. Uh, you know how freaking expensive my 1000 Terminator videos would be if I did that? Or that's like, that's like 1,200 gallons of milk worth, alright? Uh, oh, that reminds me. Wow, that was really cool. So, how exactly did I get several thousand dreams to log onto my world? Well, I actually tricked the server that a player joined. Yeah, these are fake players. I really hate to disappoint you, but Hero Brian didn't actually join the game. This works so well that the server treats it just like another player. Like, it even gets its own player connection service. At this point, it might as well even have feelings. Okay, let me be a bit more specific here. For a Minecraft server to register a player, we need a game profile, a player connection, and a player interact manager. We'll, we'll get into those things, don't Worry. Usually what will happen is your Minecraft client, account, and internet connection will handle all that jazz, but since we're talking about mass producing these guys, we won't exactly have access to these kinds of resources. The game profile variable is handled by your Minecraft account, and it includes things such as your Minecraft username, your skin, and your UUID. What is a UUID, you may ask? Well, it is your account's special code. That is it. It is also very long. Basically, we're just gonna generate a random UUID, uh, make sure that it's a Steve, because, um, because we don't like the Alex skin here, and let the username be whatever your heart designs. The skin is a bit more complicated, since we gotta pull from the Mojang API and do some JSON magic, but I'm just gonna copy some stuff I found on Stack Overflow, uh, let's continue. Okay, the Player Interact Manager object is handled by our Minecraft client. Some people have regular Minecraft clients, um, others have really, really beefy clients. Yo yeah, boy got no client, so, uh, we have two options here. Either we could re create an entire vanilla Minecraft client server-side with its own built-in physics engine and everything, or we can just fake every kind of world interaction with packets. Um, I'll get into that later. Okay, well, being completely honest with you, I would have gone with the first option if Mojang didn't name all of their variables after the freaking alphabet. Okay, I know this is actually mostly obfuscated code because, you know, they're trying to, you know, my Minecraft is top secret information. Finally, we have the player connection variable. This is where all the communication between your Minecraft and the server happens. This is also where your very cool IP address is stored. These guys won't exactly have an IP address, but uh, th that's fine. However, if, if they somehow uh, gain consciousness and start becoming a serious issue, then uh, I, I won't be able to IP ban them. 